Welcome back to the Esports Report presented by the Xbox One. Mr. X in the New York City studio, joined by Maven. Maven, how you doing, buddy? I'm fantastic, bud. I got uh, got my shirt and tie on. I'm feeling rather snazzy, even though uh, I walked outside. It's like 100 degrees here in California, so that oh, was that's fun. good. That's good. Uh, but just otherwise, go over... I'm doing marvelous, man. I'm ready to kick off season three. Right. Uh, season three kicking off any minute. It's going to be Optic Gaming versus Envy with the first match. All right. Predictions, Maven. We'll go into those. Pocket, he took OG. Ben took OG. Who do you like in this first matchup? Uh, I mean, it's kind of hard to go against OG, especially with the way they've been playing the past several months. Uh, definitely going with Optic. Yeah, and uh, I have Optic Gaming as well. I think it's going to be pretty hard to go against them. Yeah. Match number two, we can get right into that. We all took Epsilon. What did you see at Season 3 relegation that you really you liked about Epsilon, Maven? Uh, honestly, I thought they were the best team there. I know they fell to ISO and pretty, what was it, uh, 6-1 map count, was it? Yeah, I believe Overall, so. Yeah, 6-1 map count. I, I thought they ran out of steam. I thought that was pretty obvious. Uh, but overall, I mean, they need to fix some uh, communication, I think, on their squad. But when it comes down to just raw talent, slaying power, and a good mix of your objective AR and submachine guns, I, I think they are far and away i mean definitely going to be competing for a top spot in this league i mean i think they have potential to crack into the top four no oh, same and especially you no know, rise not really having you no know, a lot of practice with that new lineup that they just put together today looks like yeah. it's going to be tj and goon starting things off for rise with chino and wheat it's going to be interesting to see how those guys work together right off day one going up last second like that oh yeah last second like that it's almost impossible for them to really kind of put anything together iso versus orbit Actually, you guys all went Orbit. I went ISO. Why are you so high on Orbit, Maven? Uh, I mean, you heard it in the interview with Dito. Uh, <clears throat> I think uh, in the, the final interview also with Pocket when he interviewed the entire team, Orbit's kind of their kryptonite online. They've met up a lot in 2Ks and 5Ks. They've always struggled with Orbit. You saw them blow, uh, what was it, a 2-0 lead? Struggling with them at relegation, that, that yeah. series. I think they went down to round 11, map 5. For whatever reason, they struggle with him online. I, I don't see any reason why that's not going to continue. I took ISO. I I think ISO is going to win this matchup. No, they, I mean, they can. They, they've had really back and forth battles. You saw them land. Yeah. They're very well balanced. But uh, for whatever reason, they've struggled with him online. I like, uh, you know, Silly. I like Lama God. I like those new guys that Dito's playing with. They seem pretty hungry. I think they're going to be static to be in the league. And then Denial versus TK. TK, let's start off with that Maven. They announced their new lineup. What do you think of that? Uh, I, I like, don't, I mean, I love Sharp, I love TK, the org, I just feel like it sort of seems like they pick up and drop the same players over and over again over the course of the past two years. I, I don't know if I, it's just me that feels that way, but it seems like it's the same guys coming and going and they haven't found a group, found a group that really gels like they did in Black Ops 2. Um, I don't know. I think we're going to get kind of this similar performance out of this team as we've seen with them over the past year. Yeah, same. I think uh, it's really, you're just kind of recycling the same thing we've seen over and over again. We're going to see Denial uh, play them in our last match of the night. We all actually took Denial in that matchup, but I'm not even too high on the new Denial roster. I think that team's going to struggle to really kind of make some roles. And, you know, who's going to be the main AR? Who's really going to help replays with the SMG? It's going to be difficult to figure things out for that Denial squad. Uh, yes and no. Uh, I think we'll be surprised at what they can get away with, even if they decide to have them too. Uh, have both of them run AR a lot. There's so many situations where you see teams have two and three out. You know, a team or a map like Biolab or something, will they potentially struggle? Yeah, but I don't know. I think if, if Temp and him are both running it, Slasher pay, plays a more aggressive AR, Temp kind of sits back. I think we'll be surprised. I think they can get away with it. I think you'll see Hoop want to pull out the AR a little bit more. He's going to run into a lot of problems. They're trying to win those gunfights. We saw Tatch, you know, he struggled at times playing with replays in the SMG role. I think Hook, he's just going to revert back to that AR. That's when I think you'll see trouble for them. But Maven, just announced a little bit ago, got to get your opinions on it. TCM, it's going to be Aches, Teep, Moose, and Jerd. What's your feelings on that? Uh, uh, I had a lot of feelings on this. Um, Tell them to us. I, I'm surprised, I guess, overall, that, uh, that that's the route they went. Um, What'd you expect them to do? I, I didn't really, I wasn't really sure. I just, I, I was surprised when they let Madcat go. And I, I still don't know what everything is behind that. Madcat's one hell of a player. I don't know if it's just purely an attitude thing or what what was causing the issues there. Um, when we're talking about trying to get cast over them at Gfinity, and I'm trying to think of the last time I really, uh, X Games got to see them play a bit. But for me, I guess I felt like Moose struggled more than Shane. That's how uh, I at felt At least as in well. the games that I did. 
Moose was so hit or miss, man. He was either getting goosed in an SD or he was dropping 10 kills. Um, Shane seemed a lot more consistent for me. I, I can't, I don't have any actual, there's not much to say about them picking up TP and X. I mean, the greatest duo in the history of Call of Duty. I, have they struggled in this game? Yeah, but I mean, if they're looking forward to the future, I think they can pull stuff together for this game. And I think if you're thinking Black Ops 3, I know TCM wants to be a permanent part of like these major leagues. I, I, I think that's a smart move. Can you see them staying all the way through Black Ops 3, though? I, I don't. I don't at all. But you know what? <laughs> if that's if that's TCM's plan, if that's what they're thinking, you know, we're getting these two yeah, veteran players yeah. to see if we can keep them. Yeah, but no, no. I mean, the way Call of Duty switch teams, Call of Duty players switch teams, I mean, they're probably going to be on eight rosters by, uh, by that time. <laughs> I would have been really excited if this team would have been, you know, Jerd, Mad Cat, Aches, and Teeth. I yeah, that uh, that, nasty that's squad. what I think uh, everyone would like to see. And not, I don't want to bash Moose as a player. I mean, he's a great player. Right. I just He's not on the skill level of any of those guys. I just, I, I don't think he is. It'll be interesting. Uh, you know, Moose probably will run the AR with Aix in that setup. And he'll have Jerd kind of you know, with the SMG with Teep. I think it'll be pretty interesting. I'm excited to see them play. They won't be in action tonight, though. We have our matches set for tonight. It's going to be OG versus Envy to kick things off. You have Envy standing any chance against OG, Maven? I, I mean, I, I'm still of the. I don't think anyone does. <laughs> uh, they, no, 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 I don't. No, really? No, I just they they've been too dominant, man. Uh, eat, on land, online, whatever it's been. Optic right now, the only thing they beat Optic is Optic. Uh, unless this team falls apart internally, I don't see anyone beat them. Right, I think Optic so strong as an overall lineup. I think the only one that can really beat them is themselves. We'll give you a quick rundown of the matches tonight when they're going to start. Optic Gaming versus Envy going to be your first match of the night. Should be starting any moment. Just waiting on invites to that one. Rise versus Epsilon. That's going to be the match right after that. It's going to be an accelerated schedule. So as soon as the Optic Gaming Envy match is done, that Rise Nation versus Epsilon match will begin. Orbit ISO, that's going to be match number three for the night. And then TK versus Denial to close things out. Maven, which one are you most excited for tonight? Uh, honestly, I, it's... It's crazy to say this, because when you think about it on paper, I mean, <clears throat> when you think about the powerhouse orgs that Optic and Envy are, you think that'd be the one I'm most excited for. But honestly, I casted the Isolation versus Orbit and Relegation. It was a phenomenal best of five series. Again, it went the distance to round 11, game five, or round 10, one of those two. I can't remember. But it was ridiculous back and forth series. Uh, I'm actually look most looking forward to that one. Yeah, I think that's going to be a fantastic match. I'm in interested to see how Denial versus TK goes at the end of the night. You know, Denial with that new lineup, TK, just making that team change today. Going to be interesting to see how both those teams work out. Guys, quick commercial break. When we come back, we'll have match number one coming up right after this.